A major part of the next section of the book of Proverbs here is dealing with the contrasting the upright from the wicked, the righteous from the unrighteous. And so when we look at that, we've already seen quite a bit of that, but there's this real concentration here within the next uh, section of the book of Proverbs here. And so when we look at that, we have to ask ourselves a very serious question. Well, what is the difference between the righteous and the unrighteous? Well, there's really only one difference, and that's that is Jesus Christ. And as a result of Jesus Christ, the work of the Holy Spirit within the life of the individual, somebody is saved. If somebody knows Jesus Christ as their Lord and as their Savior, the Bible tells us very clearly that they have the Holy Spirit of God living within them. And if they have the Holy Spirit of God living within them, then the Holy Spirit of God is going to be at work within their life, working out righteousness. Now listen, that doesn't mean that that individual is perfect. Doesn't mean Christians are perfect. It doesn't mean they're never going to mess up. They're never going to do something wrong. They're never going to sin. That's not what the Bible teaches at all. And if anybody tells you otherwise, because I've heard people preach perfectionist gospels before that once you become a Christian, you're absolutely perfect, friend. That does not line up with the totality of scripture. But what does take place is the Holy Spirit begins to work within your life. And when you begin to sin, when you begin to walk down that path of sin, when those temptations enter into your mind and begin to enter into your heart and you start getting nudged that direction, what immediately begins to happen is the Holy Spirit begins to work with in your life and begins to tell you, hey, you don't need to be going down that road. You don't need to be walking down that path. You don't need to go that direction. So what is the difference between a Christian and a non-Christian? A Christian is not that we're not going to sin, but when we do sin, the Holy Spirit begins to convict us of that sin, and the Holy Spirit begins to draw us back into righteousness. And if we begin to ignore the Holy Spirit. Listen, the Bible says God chastises those of whom he loves. In other words, God disciplines those of whom he loves, and he will make his children absolutely miserable. I know that from experience. He will make them miserable until they come back into right relationship with him. And so scripture teaches us that. Now, if you're not a Christian, you could sin, you could live in sin, you could love sin, you could lay down and waller around in sin and love sin just like a hog loves slop, and you don't care. It does not bother you. That sin in your life does not bother you. There's no conviction. There's no remorse. In fact, sin is your joy. Sin is your pleasure. Sin is your pursuit. Friend, you're not a Christian. And so here it is that we come to the very first verse of Proverbs chapter 13. And the Bible says right here, a wise son. Who are we? We're sons of God, daughters of God, children of God. A wise son accept his, accepts his father's discipline. A wise son is going to hear from God. Now understand the purpose of discipline. It's not for the purpose of crushing you. It's for the purpose of building you up. So a wise son accepts his father's discipline. Yes, Lord, I've been wrong. Yes, Lord, I have messed up. Yes, Lord, I have blown it. I realize you're right and I'm wrong. I am turning away from my sin and I'm turning back to you. And the work of the Holy Spirit, the work of the knowledge of the Word of God does that within our life. But a scoffer, a scoffer does not listen to rebuke. <laughs> who are you to tell me how to live my life? Who, to, who are you to tell me what's right and what's wrong? Who are you to say that I can't do these things and I can't live this way and I can't walk this path. Who are you? Well, he's almighty God. That's who he is. And one of these days in judgment, you're going to stand before him.